Hey there, John Morris here. In this video, we're going to talk about how to create a folder. So we've talked about how to create files. Now we want to talk about how to create a folder. And so the function that you're going to need to do that is a function called uh, MKDIR, which make directory is essentially what it stands for. So, and it does exactly what uh, we're looking for, which is makes a directory. Um, you can see that we have a couple parameters. Uh, we have the path name, we have the mode, we have recursive, and then of course we have this resource context. Um, uh, the path name, of course, is, is the path for the directory that you want to create. Again, it needs a full path name, and we'll talk about that here in a minute. And then you have the mode. So, um, you know, if you, you have in... Um, in, in web server directories, you have uh, permissions that you can uh, assign to different folders. Are they readable? Are they writable? Are they readable by um, just the owner, the group, everybody, etc.? So um, those permissions can be set when you create that folder. Uh, then we have recursive, which allows the creation of nested directories in the path name, uh, defaults to false. Then we have the context, which uh, we won't talk about right now. Um, so those are the different parameters that you can set. Of course, the path name is what's required. Um, mode is is optional, but it pretty much uh, needs to be in there. And then the other two, of course, are optional as well. So what uh, we'll do is we'll go ahead and oh, one other thing you'll notice is that what it returns is a boolean. Now boolean is basically it returns true if if the directory was created and false if it wasn't. So it allows you to run a check when you run the script to see if um, the directory was successfully created. And that can be useful for dealing with errors and so on. So if we come over to our uh, code here, notice that I've created a uh, a little file or folder creation script here. Now. One of the things you're going to notice for right off the start is I created a variable and I use this function called get CWD. And what that stands for is get current working directory. And so if we go back to PHP and um, look at that function, what it does is it gets the current working directory that this script is in. So for example, in our setup here, in this HD, HT docs uh, folder is where we're at. This is the path to uh, this particular uh, folder. And, and as I mentioned, the make directory needs the full path, okay? So the easiest way to do that is use this get current working directory uh, function, and that will tell us what directory we're in now. And based off of that, then we can create our folder wherever we want to create it, whether it's up uh, a few levels or we want to create it uh, as a folder within the, uh, the current directory we're in, okay? so. Uh, that's a good way of getting and finding out where this particular file is. Now, so if you're using a program, for example, like WordPress, um, there's different ways that you can uh, get the path to uh, the particular that, that you want in order to create the folder where you want to create it. Um, of course, that's outside the scope of this. but So there are different ways, though, that you can get this. But one of the easiest ways is just to use this get current working directory. So now that we know what directory we're in, then we can create a uh, folder from where we're at currently at now. So you see we have this make directory. We're using current directory, which is the one we're in now, dot uploads. Okay, so this essentially creates the entire path. And then we're giving it um, a mode of 777, which is uh, writable by everybody. And of course, we put this in a conditional statement because make directory turns a boolean. So if it's true, then we, we echo the directory has been created successfully. And if it's false, then it failed to create the directory. So we know uh, what's going on. And again, if we come back over, you see that we have no, we don't have any uploads folder here. Okay. All right. So if we head over to our demo.php and we refresh. Notice that says the directory has been created successfully. And if we come back to our HT docs, you'll notice that we now have this uploads folder, which of course is empty. And it's really just as uh, simple as that to create a folder using P 
PHP. And of course, I recommend always putting it into a conditional like this. So now once you have this folder, you can use um, the information in how to create files to add files to that folder if you wanted to um, or, or use this however you wanted to. But that's how to create a folder in PHP. Pretty simple. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you again soon.